You already know, man, right back at it. I was in the store, I didn't want to be nice. More people in the store than usual, so you know. But, you know, the spirit always talking to me, so I feel like I have to address this issue. Huh. You feel me? Address the issue. See, we use words, letters, concepts. You feel me? We use all these things that we don't even know where that shit comes from. You feel me? So I'm just going to give you a brief history of a history within a history. Then tell you my side of the story. You feel me? So basically the words that we use came from other words that have been translated into the English language that we speak now. So usually when you hear the, th the words and the letters and the numbers that we use, these are all things that they usually be like the origin of this word came from a Greek word or the origin of this word came from a Latin word. And we all know Latin came from Africa. I've already proven that in my last video. We ruled Spain for 800 years. So which means we gave them, we gave them that language. You feel me? I ain't never seen a country that ruled somebody for that long and not give them anything and they kept their own language that don't even happen look at the african-american who has been here for only 400 500 years and he has lost his name his culture and his language already and that's half of what uh, africans rule spain for Sp africans rule spain for 800 years so which meaning latin is our language anyway i'm getting off topic so our words have origin right so most of the language and the things that we use already has a starting point. It's just that sometimes we change the words as thing goes along. Like we make up our own terms like bling bling and taquisha. We make it our own meaning. You feel me? But it came from somewhere, but we, we would change the meaning of it a little bit. We would say shorty is bad, but we, it doesn't necessarily mean that she's a bad person. We just changed the meaning of it and we made it bad into a good thing. You feel me? It's just coming to the concept of the way we use it at that time. But it doesn't change the foundation or the meaning of the word itself. Well, that's the same thing with the story that I'm about to get into. You see, I'm working at a job where jobs, any form of job that you go to, jobs do the same thing too. They create algorithm or concepts of their own language and they name these things the way they want to name it. So I'm at a job where, when I was at Amazon, they had their own concept of what they was doing. They said they had words like stowing, packing, you feel me? All these stuff in other places can mean something else. But at Amazon, it was a, it was a position name for something to be done. They had a function and a meaning behind it. Well, that's the same thing with sweeping. I'm at a job right now where they got something called sweeping. You feel me? The concept of the whole sweeping is basically, it's basically like, it's basically to take one thing and put it into another thing. It's, sweeping is organizing, basically. That's what you do when you sweep, basically. And from sweeping, you recycle and you separate and you put one here and put one on this side and one on this side. But the sweeping does not have to do with trash. It just means separating, organizing and cleaning. Basically, that's what you're doing. That's what the same concept is at this job. But it doesn't necessarily mean boom. It's just that it has been taken and the job is using it for something else. So that is the least favorite part of my job. Uh, uh, we do a lot of things here. They put you in different positions to do, uh, to do things, you feel me? So we do a lot, but that's the least, that's the least of my favorite positions. You feel me? That being said, I know these people be stalking me, so I said I hate sweeping and shit like that. So, lately I've been seeing people just getting a broom and they're literally sweeping. And they're making it seem like I said I hate regular sweeping. And I'm like, yo, just say you don't like me. You feel me? Just say you hate me. You don't have to act dumb and act like you don't know what I'm talking about. You feel me? Like, put your brooms back. You can put your brooms back, my nigga. Just go put your broom aside. Like, and nobody said they hate sweeping, nigga. Not that kind of sweeping, you feel me? That's the reason why I had to go through the history of words and where the word, even the word history, which is spelled his story, you feel me? So which meaning you take the word his story and you build off on his story. His story, of course, is our story, which is uh, the, Afri uh, the African himself. 
That's why they use the word history. You can't really change words too much because everything else that is there is already there. The only thing you can do is change the pattern or the concept of the word. Remember, words have origin. So in order for them to even translate that word history into English, into English to mean something, they had to translate it from its original part. So the only thing they can do about history is to make it, is to say his story. Because it was a story there already. There was a foundation that was already built where you build off on that foundation. Every great civilization knows not to burn. We learned that from the Haitian Revolution. When just because you, you, you get your freedom or you conquer somebody, you don't burn down everything. We also learned that from, the, uh, from, from, from German when German entered into Russia. Because every time German was went into Russia and it was defeating the Russian back, 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 and it was defeating them, they forgot that Russia is a big ass continent or a big ass country. So they kept on burning everything as they go along, not preserving the food. By the time they reached the middle of Russia, they starved. Half of them starved to death. That's where Hitler died. You feel me? So you don't, like, you feel me? Like, history is based on preserve. I don't give a fuck how much you hate somebody. You have to preserve the information. So the word history itself is based on somebody else's story. That's what they had to call. When they translated, it came back down to the person's, the person himself who made it possible, which is his story. You feel me? Which is our story. So most of the things that you see is basically from other civilization that we benefit off on. Well, we're not we. We as a civilization now are benefited off on that person's his story or their story. But you know what I'm saying. So it's the same thing with concept. When uh, companies do their thing, they take concept already that already exists. It, uh, it's already in existence, and they change the algorithm, or they, they don't even change it too much. They 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 kind of operate in the same sense of it. So when I said I hate sweeping, it doesn't necessarily mean me, me taking a broom and sweeping. It's the concept of the job that I really don't like particularly too much because it's like it's very boring. It's not active. It's not something that keeps me up. It's like you know it's constantly waiting waiting you have to have patience and everything else like that and i'm the kind of nigga that I like action so that's the least favorite part of my job so that being said put your brooms and your dustpans back in the closet you feel me you don't have to you don't have to start sweeping to show me that you can sweep and i don't mean that kind of sweeping you feel me it's kind of sad that i had to go through a whole explanation you know these neanderthals you feel me they just <laughs> They just refuse to understand. They know what they know it. You feel me? Just for the people who don't know it and are being confused, this message is for you. It isn't. It, it's not. It's not the necessary part of sweeping because our job. There's people who are hired for sweeping, and it's not that much sweeping that you can do right now at that job anyway. Because it's constantly moving. It's a constant function. There's productivity all over the place and shit like that. So sweeping is preserved for people who are hired for that position. So I don't have to worry about hating about real sweeping. We talking about a title that's been given to a particular position at the job where they call sweepers or sweep. So I say I hate sweeping. It doesn't necessarily mean I hate sweeping and taking a broom. I think I clean my room every morning when I wake up just to come to work. So how can I hate cleaning or how can I hate sweeping? That don't even make sense. But of course, when you give somebody an alleyway, they, they hold on to that and run with it. You feel me? They just, they hold on to that shit, the concept, they just hold on to it and start running with it and just start doing everything in their power. Look at them, they're watching me right now. They're trying to see, where is he going? <laughs> These niggas is nosy. They try to take all your spots. They be watching you and they be like, oh, he like to sit right here. Well, we gonna sit right there so we can be like, we, we was there before him. So let me go find another spot and make that spot uh, famous. Ooh, what's the swag? But that's, that's the whole thing about uh, things that we use most of the things that we do has already been done already you feel me everything that we do has already not most of the thing that's nothing new under the sun you heard what the bible said there's nothing new under the sun everything that we're doing right now has already been done in one shape or form it has already been done already maybe not not quite the same way but it's already been done only the patterns you can change the patterns but the sewing and everything else is quite the same. Yeah, I could probably put blue here and put red here and put yellow here. But it's like, yeah, it's the same thing that has already existed. We can't really create nothing new. Everything, there's nothing new under the sun, man. 
Bible never lies. God damn, that nigga's the truth. You feel me? So when I talk about history and everything else like that, and I try to uh, paint the picture of the history, of, I try to paint back into my story itself. Because the whole point is to show people that, hold on, let me see. I got time. Yeah, y'all in trouble, I got time. So the whole concept is to show people that, look, man, some people just, just go ahead and hate people. You don't have to act dumb. You know that it was the sweeping part. You knew what it was meant for. But you know how these people think sometimes. They think they're smart, so they're going to they gonna be like, I see they get with their broom. I'm on the bus, and these niggas, every fucking stop, these niggas got brooms, and they're sweeping and shit. And I'm like, good for you. Good, good for you. Like, you're sweeping. But it has nothing to do with me as a person. You feel me? Shout out to this place. Let me show y'all my surroundings a little bit. You know, I be outside talking to you. Most people stay inside and everything else like that. But my office is outside on the sidewalk in the streets in nature this is my office you feel me i just went to walmart i'm about to go to work anyway so i'm just talking to y'all right now but this is my office sometimes you got to show people what you're doing on the regular day activities like you know what i mean if you go jogging you can go i mean i don't want to record and go like sometimes the camera be moving where you <laughs> that shit's not pretty but after jogging, you can still talk. Like, I do that too. After jogging, I record. I try to show people my everyday activities. You feel me? I'm constantly on the move, on the activity shit. Now, some people just got the luxury to just sit at one place and just speak to y'all. I like to do that too, but you can mix it up a little bit and be outside and talk to people a little bit and be in your studio and speak to people at the same time. Mix it up a little bit. Once you once you show people the surroundings, it become people become very intrigued. It's very capturing when you show people you walking outside and you talking. If they feel part of the walk itself, it's as if you walking with them and y'all talking together. Instead of just you sitting down in a class, and it feels like a class sometimes where you just talking to people. People just they feel part of that thing, but it's like a person has to be very engaged. Has to be very engaged to even want to listen. You see, I don't listen to narcissist topic because it's something I have to listen to. It's because I want to listen to it. That's why I listen to it. If not, I could just watch some girl shake her ass on TikTok, and that's very entertaining too. So people who tend to watch things that they need, trust me, they're going to come to you. You feel me? You have a topic, you have a, you have a swag that you're selling, an idea that you're selling, people are going to come and listen. But it's much better sometimes to speak about these topics when you are outside and they see your surroundings and they're like, oh shit, this nigga really outside talking on his phone. And it's not crazy to do so, you feel me? It's really not crazy. You can just show your surroundings. You'd be like, look, at look, this is where I'm at. People be like, oh, wow, it's beautiful. And people are in New York and they're in the cold weather and they see this shit, they feel automatically warm. They be like, oh, look, that nigga got the palm tree. Damn. <laughs> yeah, the surroundings look good, but you still gotta deal with the people, yo. Now, I mean, sometimes, man, it's much harder to deal with the people that are surrounded. Surrounded be looking dumb good. I ain't even gonna lie to you. But the people is different, bro. I ain't gonna lie. But this is the, the, let me get back to the topic because I almost dripped off. You feel me? I just want to, you know, that's a little commercial for how you ought to act. Hold on, let me wait. What's the swag? I'm trying to find this spot where I can actually maybe take my spots, man. So sometimes, you know, these niggas be watching you and they try to take away from you. Like, it's shit crazy. They just be watching every move you make. Let me get out of here, man. Anyway, so basically, see the history and the, the things that we do has already been done before. And these companies know that. They really know that. They know they're very smart. That's why they stay in business for a long time. You feel me? Some of them know they cheat. They get saved by the government and everything else like that. But the idea is great. You feel me? That's why America is the greatest country in the world. You feel me? The idea is great. You feel me? It's like it's, it works. You feel me? You don't throw away. You, you seen the Haitian Revolution where they burned out everything after the French and everything else like that. And they've been suffering for a very long time. We've seen Germany who, who went through the same thing. And when they went to Russia, they burned, they kept on burning. Every time they defeat a spot, they burned it down, they burned it down. So when they got to the middle of Russia, guess what happened? They starved to death and Hitler killed himself on supposedly, at least that's what they said. Then Hitler, Hitler was like, that's how they, they got defeated. You feel me? Because they didn't use the concept of preserving 
the information on the things that they was going through. You can't hate somebody so much that you wanna like you wanna destroy everything. No, you can't do that. You feel me? You just can't. You feel me? So sometimes you just gotta you have to be able to willing to learn from people that you even despise. You just can't learn from people that you that you like only. You feel me? You feel me? So this so when, once you once you become that open and educated about these things. You don't just believe anything. When somebody comes to you and tell you sweeping, you just don't believe the fact that, oh, how can he hate sweeping? And that's why I said, just say that you hate me. But then I have to come to the conclusion that, look, man, maybe these people just don't know as enough as you do, you feel me? They don't, haven't learned history like the way you do. I gave Haitian, I gave German. I'm thinking of other countries that did the same thing. The United States never did that. The United States was fucking intelligent, extremely intelligent. And wait, even World War II, we waited. And we got in at the right time when Japan attacked us. You feel me? Once Japan attacked us, we just got in at the right time and we 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 went to war and we 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 didn't throw away German uh or uh, we didn't throw away German and uh German uh people from German and be like, oh they racist and everything else. We invited everybody in, you feel me? We even took we took that's how we got Albert Einstein. That's why we got Nikola Te uh, Te Tesla. Well, Albert Einstein is a Jew. But most of the, what we did was very small. We actually took the best of their resource. You feel me? That's what America want. America want the best people to come here so they can give into the community. Not just take, 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 take. What can you, JFK said it best. Do not ask. This is for the immigrants. This is not for the black American or the white American. This is for me and other immigrants who come here. Do not ask what this country can do for you. Ask what you can do for this country. That's what JFK said. But I twisted it another way and I'm saying, I'm saying it to the immigrants, you feel me? Cause you know, America do own a black American and a whole lot of money that they gotta pay off. I think, I think, I believe in reparation for African Americans. And I feel like America should give them, uh, should give um, the, the, to repair the things that they've done to the African American has been unjust. I don't like the smell. You feel me? Everybody know justice has to be paid. You feel me? But this is where I'm at right now. What, sh what shop is this? What's the sweat? You feel me? Anyway. I'm about to close it off on this topic. We're gonna get into other topic. I don't want to take it too long. Feel me? So sweeping. That's the go that's what that's what's gonna be called for this title. Sweeping. Don't believe everything that you hear. Be a little more intelligent. Use the things that you've learned to filter out the things that come in. Use your intelligence and just, you know, stop coming out here with your sweeping and your dustpan. Act like I said I hate sweeping. No, it has to do with the job that I'm at. Use Use some common sense, you feel me? I had to give you a whole history, I mean, one.